recent weeks, American media has shed light on the College Board's recent decision to implement an adversity test. This test would measure a student's disadvantage based off of 31 different factors that measure adversity. While the test does not consider things like race or ethnicity, it does attempt to focus on issues that have been uh, proven to affect one's ability to achieve academically or earn higher wages later in life. So Ben and I will be uh, interviewing a series of academic officials and students in different public, private schools, tutoring and uh, college admissions in order to greater uh, understand the impact of a score like this or how it will be used. And in this process, we'll also be kind of tracking our own opinions and how they form around what we hear from others, um, kind of connecting the ideas of identity and allowing us to discover what in ourselves we believe is the correct decision or what is best to represent a uh, equal and um, fair uh, college system. Uh, I'm Jordan Hirschman, yeah, I'm the guy. 11th grade at Polytechnic School. I am Phoebe Holdsworth. I go to Polytechnic School <laughs> and I am a junior. Hey, Mr. Bruno. Hi there. This is Tara Briggs. Hi, Ms. Briggs. It's uh, Spencer from Poly. About it. I've certainly read some articles about it. So, if you want just a quick overview, Cameron, it's up to you. I'll look at Ben. All right. All right, you guys are clear. It's recording. So, when you're done, click that little red button there. All right, yeah, I think I can figure that out. My name is Thomas. And then, what are your thoughts um, on the idea of, like, not including race? Well, I think race comes up in other aspects of the application, so I think it's factored in there, and it, it certainly does contribute to adversity, but I'm not sure if the particular type of adversity College Board is trying to focus on is one that's primarily um, the result of race or socioeconomic status, because the primary disparity in um, like standardized test does come as a result of socioeconomic status more than as a result of race. So I think it would be fair for them to make their criteria more on the basis of socioeconomic status. As they've, some people have been given the ability to cheat the game while others can't. I feel like mm -hmm. how the tutoring, but yeah. And then wouldn't you consider the books a cost as well? On that point? The are a cost. I think they could be lowered though. Like it's a book. <laughs> like it's just paper. <laughs> um, which like sounds really like Privilege, yeah. Yeah, privilege, <laughs> but, like, I don't know, like, if the College Board really expects people of all, like, social statuses to be taking the SAT, they should make them affordable for all social statuses and economic statuses. I think that's... I mean, I didn't really get to choose the house I live in or the family I, like, was born into, just like everyone else. Like, it's just based on luck. Like, I just happened to get lucky to be able to get, like, a good education and be able to like afford to go to a nice school and live in a nice house so and like have things like around me but I don't know it's just based on chance so I don't think people should be graded based on their luck. Do you think in its current iteration it is an accurate reflection of someone's adversity? I, I can't imagine that it's a accurate across the board because anytime you use an algorithm yeah. to m put a rating on you as an individual, mm -hmm. there's a chance that because they're comparing you to everyone around you, their situation, that yours doesn't match that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think sometimes it'll be spot on, most of the time it'll be a bit off, and sometimes it'll be absolutely wrong. I don't know, I feel like there needs to be a safety photo. 